damn it. Stream puppy. I swear to God. Anyway, be right back. All right. Does that de nouveau? Yes. Yes, it does, Crypt. As de nouveau and like one or two others. They went ape shit. So since it doesn't matter that it's night, since they have no range as far as I can tell, I'm going to go ahead and read our books. And since we have a whole bunch of days now, I kind of just want to read them. Get our skill points up. Uh, cat's paw. I still don't know. You have no idea what this is about. Read it? Oh, we can't use it. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Is this supposed to be like an erotic magazine cover? I don't know. Uh, Dean's Electronics. Let's read that one. You learned about mechanical electronic repair procedures. Big book of science. You learned about the practical application of science and technology. Read the first day. It's going to be dark again by the time we read them all, isn't it? Uh, let's see. You learn better ways to heal injuries in the field. And you learn a lot about wilderness techniques. What's our repair at now? <laughs> 21. Still not very good, but... Outdoorsman's up to 33% with us not putting any points into it. Your name tag turned gray. Also, make sure to go check out Quirt. How's Flight Simulator? How's Flight Sim treating you, by the way? Uh, let's put our combat shotgun. Hi. There's enough water to get around for everyone, so... Set, make sure of that. Set, who is that? We'll need to go have a little chat with him. Good old Nuka Cola machine. Ooh, we can do a burst. Nice. Ian. Good job, Ian. Remind me to talk to him after this to see if I can't make him use his goddamn better gun. Oh, God damn it! As much as I want to burst into the back of his head because of other playthroughs, I'll be nice. Nope, not that. Yeah, do it. Hold on. By the way, one of the goals of this playthrough is to make up 
for the one thing I did not do in my first playthrough is to kill those two guys in the Brotherhood of Steel behind that locked door that I could never get open. I don't rem I have a vague recollection of where they were. I remember them back being in the north, kind of north northeast area of the base. But Oh yeah, you guys are playing that satisfactory again. That's one of those games I'd love to go back and play. It looks good. All right, Ian, for fuck's sake. What can I do for you? Oh shit, my intelligence fucked up. <laughs> you move in my way, frown. I think the Mintats. Yep, my Mintats are were off. Uh, how long does that last? Because that's going to be a problem when I go to talk to people. Alien invasions. I didn't know which game that would be. Wait, how, why is our intelligence so low? It's been like days. We don't have... Now we could print this up if we wanted to print our character sheet up, which I would totally do that. Um, I don't know where it would show if you're addicted to something. I'm drawing a blank on this. I mean, I would think that's why, because I'm addicted to the Mintats that I took one time. But yeah, that's going to be a problem. You can kind of talk to them. Oh, you actually survived. And I can't tell Ian to switch because my brain's to not think good. Shot in the eyes with a shotgun. God damn it. And I'm just using a shotgun on this to conserve ammo for our sniper rifle. Again, I don't think ammo is going to be a problem. Nice. Critically missed and lost his next turn. I don't think it's going to be a problem, but... Shotgun is definitely something late game we will not be using anywhere near as much. Because we're going to be fighting a lot of uh, ranged enemies. I don't know which ones are hostile, so I just got to wait till they, they get ho fucking hostile. Good job. Way to steal my steal my kill. The real bitch is if we don't get our int back up. I might try to rest. Let's do that. I'm gonna try resting. I'm gonna save and then try to rest. God damn it. Or not. Fallout remaster. Oh, man, I would be down with that. I would want them to keep the same type of gameplay, though. We'll need to go outside a town and rest. I just want to see if it if it comes back. There it goes. Okay, it's back to normal. Kind of wasted two days, but... 
That's fine. How are we on days? Wow, wow, we're down to 145. What? We're down to 145 days already. We had like 222. That's intense. And we still have a lot of time, but damn. Yeah, whatever browser you use and whatnot can... Because you're purple to me in both my browsers, actually. Uh, what, what rocket one? Uh, combat tactics, draw your best weapon. I think he did it. I can't really tell. Oh, the factory builder one. There's enough water to get around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't tell the good ghouls from the bad ones, so... The god sort of out. Yeah, the ghouls, obviously... What the fuck, Ian? Where are you even at? Oh, there he is. Well, he missed, but he hit another ghoul, so that's fine. He fired a dud shot. Luckily, that's not a big deal. Yeah, these, these guys are super slow. But they're XP, so... <laughs> Ghoul was critically hit in the eyes for 30 hit points, and the eye explodes like a blood sausage. I can appreciate... Appreciate that X description. Makes me hungry. Ah, yeah, so yeah, Jolinar says you have to, if you don't set it, it's random. Man, that, that bugs me more than it should, the time thing. I hate how little shit like that could get under my skin. And like, I'm like, I just can't get rid of it. Like, it's like, ah, oh, God, we wasted so much time. But it's probably not going to matter. But man, that was a lot of time gone. We didn't even travel that much. And as far as I know, the way to the West is bought by rubble and debris. There must be... I'll have to find another way. Uh, is it going to be this? Yep, it is. Let me go try to talk to this ghoul again. when I was in here. What do you want? I don't know. What do you want? Hi. How are you? Hello. Should have mind your own damn business. You really want to bother the person with a shotgun who's looking through your bookshelf? You just let them go. You just let it go. You just let it be. Ah, he's already out of ammo. I gotta get him more of that Desert Eagle ammo. I sold a bunch of it. Get him in. Or not. Listen. That's their own damn fault. I was just looking through their shit. They didn't have to attack me. But they chose to do it. Thanks for the Nuka Cola though, bitch. You're really doing that to protect, like, a beer and a lighter? You died for that? Of course you live in the sewer. Why wouldn't you? You goddamn weirdos.
Hopefully they're not mad if we killed some random guys upstairs. Ooh, blood. I hope it's not Chris's blood. What are those traps down here? Things you say right before you explode. Yes, yes it was. Oh god, there's a bunch of these. Nice. Ian? I know you're desperate to die. I mean, he does pretty good work on the melee front. I'm not gonna, not gonna deny him that. How bad of a, or like how much of a badass of a shooter are you when you're shooting enemies from behind through the eyes? That's pretty fucked up, but also amazing. I saw those ladders, by the way. I did not miss them. Um, is there a... Why can't I go this way? It looks like I should be able to go that way. See? Okay. On closer examinations, these are still rocks. Thanks, game. They look like skulls. All right. Get off my, my nuts, game. Asshole. Uh, 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 we came from over there, right? From this spot. So let's try this ladder since it's closest. The master of unlocking your eyes from your skull. That's about it. Damn. I mean, it didn't make sense that this would be the way in. Or maybe it, well, you know, I think, I think I'm wrong for once in my life. Sometimes I like to try new things. You could have just left it open. I think I'm thinking of something different. Let's go over here. What's funny is I've only really played, I've only ever beat, beat one Resident Evil. And that was the three remaster. Wait, don't shoot. That tells me I should start shooting immediately. Thank you for not shooting first. Can I help you? I am looking for water. The surface of Necropolis in the water is controlled by Set and his ghouls. We are a much more peaceful group. We eat which disgusts Set. Who is this Set? Set is a ghoul like us, but has assumed a certain amount of power in the above ground world. He is an oaf. Why does he let you survive down here? He does not speak of it. However, Set is afraid of not having enough people to defend Necropolis if it ever needed it. So he gives us what water we need. I'm looking for a water chip to give my people the water they need. Do you know where I might find one? Since our pump stopped working, we've been getting our water from a place under the ground. I have heard that a water computer is being used to purify the water. Where is that? The watershed is to the north. They need to take the sewers to get there. Or you'll need to take the sewers to get there. You aren't thinking of taking the water chip from us, are you? I mean, it say it was a water chip. Uh, why? If you take the water chip from us, then we will all die. With our water pump broken, we need it to survive. Yeah, but you're not people, though, so... Is it possible that your pump can be fixed? That may be difficult. The parts needed to fix the pump were lost in the sewers under the watershed. Why is that so difficult? The sewers there are filled with monsters, and none of my people that I have sent to retrieve them have come back. Are you willing to retrieve the parts so that the water pump can be fixed? I'm not going to tell them I'm taking the water chip, but I think we know where this is going. Uh, since you guys are too incompetent to do this yourself, I guess I'll have to lend a hand. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, I guess. 
when you get the parts, return here. It's possible. Then I can help you further. Yeah. We're hiding here. This music's intense. It's a little. It's one of those like areas that's a little too intense. Ooh, hello. I'll be taking this. You guys don't need med kits. Look at you. You're basically dead as it is. Yeah, we'll bring the water tip back when we're done with it. They're ghouls. They don't need that much water. So you said the watershed was to the north. <laughs> Can't talk now. I watch you go for danger. Okay. Tone it down a few notches there, Hoss. There's a bunch of rats. Come on. Hopefully that's not what you guys are scared of. I'm going to go with this, maybe. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to where he said the parts were, because I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he said the watershed was up north. Oh, there's the mole rats. I've got no quarrel with you, good mole rats. I'm just looking for a water chip. Let me be on my way, and you'll be on yours. Hello. How y'all doing? Don't mess with my stuff. Uh, we'll see about that. I can't mess with your stuff if it's my stuff. Hi. Which one of you is set? Because you all look exactly alike. What the? A super mutant? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, unless he's set. If you disturb the boss, he's gonna hit you. Okay. Hey, no talking. It disturbs my thinking. Okay. Alright, big guy. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt an intellectual like you meditating. Here's an interesting looking fellow over here. We offer healing of the body to heal the spirit. Uh, let's see, who are you people? We are the children of the cathedral. We live and work amongst these unfortunates living in the wasteland. If you ever get to LA Boneyard, stop by the cathedral. What do you do? We are the healers and teachers of peace. We heal the body to heal the spirit. We ask for a small donation to pay for our healing supplies. I don't need healing. <laughs> but he doesn't actually offer to heal. Damn it. Damn it. Close enough. Well, you take 26 caps. I don't think they heal radiation. I think they just heal straight up hit point damage. Uh, I was just wanting to leave. I wish you could just exit out of combo sometimes. Okay. Ignore Capcom. They do some good stuff still. They're pretty shady. Or not shady necessarily, but they do a lot of dumb hey, stuff. Oh, hey, it's you. You not look like ghoul. How come? in your mouth, you weirdo. That's because I dressed up real snazzy today. Ooh, that was snazzy-like, huh? I'm just fooling you. I'm not a ghoul. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Not fool Harry. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. You not ghoul. Or to say, not ghoul, not be here. 
Who's giving you orders? Oh, you find out soon. Yeah, take me to your boss. Oh, this is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is so nice to see you. What do you want with me? Why, when you become one of us, of course. I can't have a perfectly good prime normal and not make it one of the chosen ones, now can I? After you tell me where your vault is. I want conditions. Conditions? How delightful. Go ahead, amuse me with your condition. I want to be able to ask you some questions first. Why, certainly, my dear human. I'm curious just to see what you'll ask. What is it you say you do here? My dear human, this is the great procreator. I'm here, glad I'm here. We'll make others of the master race and ensure the unity. It's all quite glorious, I assure you. Tell me about the unity. The unity is our goal. It is quite simple, really. Certainly, even you have noticed the steady downhill slide of civilization. Is he, is he mean like, like in the game or in 2021? The super mutant is the next advancement in human evolution. To save the world, we will convert all the worthy individuals. Simple, efficient, glorious. So you're making everyone into big, green, ugly mutants to save the world. Your human mind is rather under-equipped to handle this, so a simple yes will suffice for now. Soon, everyone in the world will be converted, and peace will reign. Oh, yeah, yeah, Velix. This is before the new California Republic. Now you're telling me there will be no war. No war and no sickness. All super mutants are bound by the unity. We are the hope for the world. I think so, Plan C. I don't remember some of the story in regards to all that. Uh, but we will be finding out. How are you the hope of the world? Oh, this is excellent. What? You know, I actually doubted my officer Wait, what? Why, when you become one of our conditions. I don't know what happened there. How delightful. Why, certainly. Uh, what do you want me for? Oh, haven't you figured it out yet? You're a prime normal. Soon you'll be one of us. How does no way sound? We shall see, won't we? Feel better now? Nine points Since of damage, get out of here. Such a crass, yet oddly satisfying and effective technique. I'll ask you once more, nicely. Where is the vault? You want to barter? No. I'm not telling. I rather hoped you'd say that. How was that? In a more chatty mood? Now, where were we? Oh, of course. The vault. It's in your dreams, bitch. Ah, I feel much better. And you? Now, be a good little human and tell me where your vault is. This is getting most tedious. Go to hell. This will probably kill oh, us. I do so admire your will. Guards, take her away and prepare her for the dipping. She'll tell us where her vault is when she's one of us. It's been fun. <laughs> and Ian's still here. You left somebody in here, you dumbasses. Yeah, I vaguely remember this part. I th I think you can fight back immediately there somehow. I'm not sure.
But the door is locked or not locked. So, a human. This is very interesting. You will come here with me to the lieutenant or you will perish right here. Never. We got this. We don't got this. Yeah, I think there's an actual way to attack back there. Uh, let's... Wait, was that the guy that they were talking about with the water? I want to look around first. Because, yeah, I think we have to go... Because that was obviously... Oh, no, no, no. We obviously need to go into the vault. Well, they're dumbasses in most of the games, to be fair. Fallout 3? I hated... The thing I hated about 3 was the, the subways. I hated navigating the subways. That was insanely frustrating to me. I mean, I guess we could just open fire as well. I want to see if we can attack them, though. I don't think you can, because, I mean, obviously you still have your weapons and shit. And I can fight my way down? I have a way to get into this room. Or this building, other than this. I'm curious what will happen if I tell him to fuck off. Hey, you not look like ghoul. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. I kind of rather have him take me down there. I think that'll be more interesting. Potentially. Hey, you not look like ghoul. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. You not ghoul. Or to say, oh, you find out. Oh, this is excellent. You know, I act why when you become one of us, of course. You're almost we funny. We shall see. Oh, no. No! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was funny. He shot his own guy. So it looks like during that part, you can go into combat. So it looks like there. And I don't. I'd never be a bug, though. Hey, you not look like ghoul. How come? You not ghoul. You not ghoul. Oh, you fight. Oh, this is excellent. You know, I. Yes, you do. Oh. We shall see. Yeah, I don't know if this is intended that you can go into combat at this point. The monocle. So should I fight here or let him take me to the... Tell you what, here's what we're going to do. Uh, fight back. I'm going to save it here. But I'm going to reload. And I want to see what happens if we just let him take us to the prison. I'm kind of curious. Which one was that? There's this one. Oh, uh, nope. That one. God, it's so nice being able to load quickly. Hey, you not, you not, Lou, tell me watch place. Not let no one in. Not normal's most. Oh, this is excellent. Oh, Lou, you know, Lieutenant. I actually right. doubted my officers when they said, Why, when you become one of us? Conditions? How did I We shall. The only part is we have to wait through this every time. Feel better now? And the I damage is know. random, I think. So he could potentially, like, crit and kill us or some shit. Even though the damage looked the same. It was line 12 and then 17. That? Ah. Oh, I do. All right, and we'll save here. I should have done that before. Mm -hmm. 
sneak that you didn't sneak. Oh, so you just... Wait, why does he bother to take you back if... Let's just do the fight back one. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. This part feels a little jank, to be fair. To be fair. Uh, and we're going to fall back because this guy with a chain gun probably will hurt. Ian's probably not going to make it through this. Ian's not going to make it through this. Somebody clip that. Rip Ian. Uh, this guy cannot be allowed to survive. Ooh, goddamn. 87 in the eyeball, and he still survived. Damn it. Jesus, fuck. 70 critical. Easier way? I remember doing this, actually. I think the easier way is just to kill them. I, I don't feel like... Something doesn't feel right, though. Because, like, I feel like when he captures you... Like, are you supposed to wait? Until something happens, because he captures you, he takes you up there, and then you just instantly die. So that doesn't make a lot of sense. I like they they left a prisoner's corpse in here, by the way. Oh, Fallout 4 was great. The the building was janky as balls, but all right. So sneak, but the hold shift. Okay, we don't have a very good sneak, so this is probably not going to work. Nope. Unless we get super lucky here. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't equip the fucking weapon. Yeah, we're automatically dead. Shit. If I'd have known that. Ian, relax. He was hit in the eye for no damage. What? Good job, Ian. Take the shot, Ian. There you go. Oh, shit. Intruder alert on the speakers. That's that's not good. And you missed. All right. I think 4 was fine. 4 was good. I like 4 quite a bit. I do hate how jank, how half-assed they did the building. That sucked. That was really shitty. Like, they obviously just half-assed it and were like, fuck it, we can't figure it out. And gave up on it. Because it was janky as balls. But the mod made it amazing. Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna... Hope against hope here. Right, this will be the last time we'll try this. If this doesn't work, um, we will probably just try to fight our way in, I guess. Oh, that's right. We don't have any ammo. We should get two attacks, I think.
Oh, no, we don't. We do not get two attacks. I guess we did the one time because he attacked first. Your life. Oh, well, we'll never see a Fallout with Isometric again, I don't think. Unless it was a remaster. That I would be down with. We could do the fight back. I don't really know how this sequence is supposed to go. Because if you go here too early, like we're pretty overpowered for how we're set, we, set up we are. But if you get stuck here earlier, you're basically fucked. Well, I guess you can tell them. Give them the information. No, nah, I would definitely not count on that. Well, I guess with Microsoft buying them, and they saw how, they probably smart enough to see how well Divinity Original Sin did. But it would probably, ironically, it would probably end up being like a spinoff. I guess I could give them information. You know what? Let's... We're an evil character. We don't really give a shit, I guess, sort of. Let's just give him the information. Let's see what happens. Because I guess if, if you stumble in this early, you just have to give them the info. That or just reload a bunch. Hey. You not look like ghoul. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Not nah, you not ghoul. Lou, tell me watch place. Not let no one in. Not normals most. Take normals to the loo. Oh, this is excellent. Why, when you become one of us? Conditions? How delightful. Go ahead, amuse me with your condition. I'm sure I want to go free. It's not going to work. My dear, you, the you, the soup, you are no war and no. Oh, this is why when you become one of us, of course. I conditions. How delightful. What a splendid sense of humor. Pity I don't have one. So, the location of your vault. So I guess he has please. to attack you at least once. Oddly enough, I do believe you do not in. Because there's no option to actually tell him. Like immediately. Feel better now? It's about Since eight or nine days travel due east crass. in the side of a mountain. Excellent. I believe you understand. So you're sure you want to tell where the vault is? Torture can be so. Or maybe you just lose? Oh, fuck. God damn it. Switching the camera fucked it up. So I guess you ought to lose if you tell them. Hey, <laughs> yes! Whoop their ass. Hold on, we're gonna do that again. It is done. Shut up. Vault 13 belongs to the Unity and the Master. No, I want to switch. No uh, of the vault so when I told, when I hit the button to switch scenes, it skipped the goddamn cutscene. Personally, scene. made the final kill when you took the life of the Overseer. Yeah, shut up. You will certainly become yeah, one of the nope, finest soldiers right? for nope, the Unity. No, no, you're thought you're ruining it. Shut and the your fuck skills up. skills will see you rewarded often in the future. You are happy. But there remains the tiniest doubt. <laughs> I'm just going to close the game. Oh my god. Go away. I can't even all that for it. And the game's bugged out. <sighs> Game. Come on. I was going to kill it. Thanks, game. All right, let's try that again. I do want to see those cutscenes, though. All right, I had to skip this because this is in ridiculously loud at the beginning there. It should pop up here in a second. There he goes. Uh, I wish he would just let you ask instead of having to wait to that hey, cutscene. You, you, Lou, tell me watch place. Oh, this is a yes. You know. how commend we shall. You have, yeah, you basically have to fight him to start with. Well, I was thinking if you tell him before they can attack, Feel you can escape. Now. Excellent.
Sorry it's so goddamn loud. Jiggle, jiggle. Some Resident Evil shit going on. I want to make this an animation. I need to, like, uh, copy this. That part. <laughs> I gotta poop, I gotta poop! <laughs> Beat the shit out of the overseer. Changes. God almighty, that was loud. Vault 13 belongs to the Unity and the Master. Your knowledge of the Vault defenses saved many mutant lives during the attack. You personally made the final kill when you took the life of the Overseer. You will certainly become one of the finest soldiers for the Unity. Damn right. And your skills will see you rewarded often in the future. You are happy. But there remains the tiniest doubt of what could have been. Uh, but now I'm like a super strong super sniper. Why would I not want that? Who wouldn't want that? So there really is only way, one way to do this. So you either have to wait to do this or you have to, well, you don't have to. You, you could probably survive that intro area, but what? I'm not even sure you're supposed to do it that way. Hey. You not you not ghoul, I knew. Or you fight your way down. We're gonna back out here. Ian is gonna die again, probably horribly. God damn it, Ian. We shot Ian. He's got that, I'm sure. He got in my way. Well, Harry's dead. Rip. Cow, goddamn. Fucking Ian's going ape shit. We're going to use range to our advantage here. <laughs> While Ian donkey punts them with a goddamn knife. Alright. Well, this guy's not dead. I think he's just unconscious. Goddamn, Ian. Maybe I should just give you a melee weapon. Oh, no, he killed this thing. What? He killed this. The fuck? Ian, you madman. When did you become so good with melee weapons? What the fuck? He's a murder machine. Ian. Maybe I've misjudged you all this time. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. There she blows. The laser rifle. If I recall, this is the best sniper rifle in the game. Now, we're not going to have any ammo for it. And our energy weapon skill is weak, but we can start building it up. It's down at 70. Yes. 
I accidentally shot him in the back of the head, which apparently enraged him. And he went completely apeshit. I will probably still stick with my normal sniper for a while. A while. But yeah, I need to give Ian a good melee weapon. Yeah, I'll heal you now, Ian. You've, you've deserved it. Or you've earned it. He's severely wounded. I was uh, not expecting to run into a bunch of super mutants, if I'm honest. I was thinking this area was something different. Which is fine. It's good to be surprised sometimes. Unless it's like a pregnancy test. Alright. Like, he was, like, not just killing them, he was knocking them down and shit. Like, goddamn, Ian. You critic. You ran up and critically missed. Good job. Yeah, our, our chance to hit. So we're going to stick with the other rifle for now. Get it, Ian. Oh, never mind. Now, these aren't that tough. Holy shit, even though we just hit him in the eyeballs for 99 damage. Damn it. Flamethrower. That could have went really bad. We are definitely not giving Ian the flamethrower, though. Ian might be a synth. I'm, I'm still pretty... I'm hoping he doesn't use that rifle. He is going to die, though. There's no way... Against some of the nastier shit we're going to run into, there's no way. Yeah, I really don't know how you're supposed to do that section, to be honest. Without doing it this way. Because you can't... You can't rat them out. I guess if you have a high sneak, you could get by... Or maybe a high charisma. Maybe you could talk to the guard. I don't know. I'll give him this. Well, the problem is when he inevitably dies. Which we don't have to go into the vault right now, I guess. I was giving him the ammo for selling it later. We don't have to go down there now. I don't even know where the entrance is. But I'm, I'm, I will say I'm, I'm kind of stumped because it feels like that area is way beyond what you normally would be at for this level. Oh, you know what? I know what you're supposed to. Uh, what do you want? I'm here to let you out. Great, do it. I might. I guess what they want you to do is to help the ghouls and get their shit back, and then they can fix whatever the other thing was, I guess? But yeah, it definitely feels like a weird way of doing this one. Where does the water come from? They pump it from the wells below. There's a manhole in the cell next door that leads to the old vault. This is the source of the water. If it wasn't for those ones below, we'd be a lot better off. What do you mean? It's difficult to make the old tech work properly, sometimes. The glowing ones lash out whenever we go down there. Us ghouls just leave them alone, and the big mutants don't seem to care one bit. Hmm. Goddamn mutant freaks. The guys just glitch you walk out of here, Ian? Good job, Ian. Wait, what? Hostels? Like, way the one down here? Here we go. He knew too much, alright? He knew too much. He 
Yeah, in that regard, I feel like we're way ahead. Like I said, I'm, I'm guessing they really want you to help the, the ghouls. Because being able to go down there and take out all those guys, which is what we're about to do, would be... I mean, it's going to be tough for us. Like, even with, with a strong build like this. Three ways to getting in. Sometime, something about a fake radio walkie distress, sneaking with robes or cowboy approach. Well, see, the one guy didn't have to drop the robes. Like, I think he was supposed to. So I don't know quite what's up with it. He can sneak in. The radio thing. I mean, you get the walkie-talkie from the one. Maybe I shouldn't have sold it. Maybe you actually can use it, but fuck it. I also like the kill. The only reason I'm I'm kind of like iffy on the killing part is because I kind of wanted to see what other dialogue and whatnot he has. Because it seems weird that he would only have very limited dialogue and they gave him a, a face. Oh, look, it's the glowing ones, I believe. Oh, wait, she... Wait. You tread without permission. Do I, though? We were hit for no damage. Oh, for fuck. I don't need permission. I got a sniper rifle full of bullets. It's all the permission I need, bitch. Of course, you assholes don't have anything worth a damn. Yeah, I sold it. I tried to use it before, and it didn't work. Like it said, uh, if I remember right, it says like there was just static. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could have used it when I got closer to the base. Like maybe it just wasn't usable until I got close. That's very possible. Computer's broken. I'm gonna guess I can't repair it. Nope. Cannot be repaired. All these vaults look the same, which I think makes sense. Like, obviously, it was a good excuse to reuse assets. But it makes sense that they would be built roughly the same, like, structure or the same, like, layout up until a point. Obviously, you've run into some issues, I imagine. Yeah, this is going to be tough, even for us. So that's why I say maybe they want you to come back later, but you can't really because of the time limit. Hmm. I have no idea what... I did my first time through. <laughs> ah, never mind. He's just talking to him, having a good time, and all of a sudden his eyes blow out through his rib cage. Yeah, so that death, where they're like, ah, uh, uh, that would happen, like, all the time if we had bloody mess. Oh. Get out of combat. Do you guys have anything? You're worthless. But depending on what your gun you use, they also will die differently. So, yeah, it looks like the glowing ghouls was also uh, started with this game. I think maybe your guards should be able to move a little bit faster. Ian? I like how he just shuffles past Ian. 40 critical to the eyes, and he still survived. I was going to say, this one's rough. He did face the wall. He died so damn hard. Open this locker. Drugs. Looks like Rad away. Or Rad X, rather. He did face the wall. Look at that. Loot him over here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just half a guy facing through a wall. Typical stuff in this post-apocalyptic hellhole. We probably won't get through this all the way. My throat's starting to hurt a bit again. And I probably should eat since we've been streaming eight and a half hours. 
but I don't want to. Love this game. Again, I'm very glad you guys are here. I love... Uh, I mean, obviously I like streaming anything. Well, not anything. But um, I do... Especially like it when you guys show up for games that, that I have a fondness for. And this is definitely one of them. Especially those of you who've never seen seen this. Like, I mean, obviously both you are nostalgites. Nostalgites? You want a little bit of that uh, that dopa, that uh, nostalgia drip. I appreciate. But folks who are more familiar with the newer Fallouts but never seen this, I like I like showing it off. Like I like showing the these old, you know, the original, like where it started. Sort of. Wasteland technically is where it started. By the way, I meant to tell this story way earlier. And I know I've told it before. But the way I got into Fallout was I actually broke a troll. Ian, for Christ's sakes. Uh, broke control. We used to play... We had a DD and d group. For quite a while. That we played every Friday. Friday night, like after work. Everybody, when everybody got off work. And we would, um, you know, we'd get together at a friend's house and do our D&D thing. Well, one day, Bro Control comes in with a game that he bought at Walmart in the box, still, obviously, because this is the year 1997. And I was like, oh, what's that? He's like, it's, it's a game called Fallout. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, like, wh where'd you hear about it? He's like, oh, I was just in the store and I like the box. I like the box art. And, you know, post-apocalyptic RPG, that sounds cool. I'm like, wait a minute. You didn't know shit about this game. Except you like the box art. And the concepts sound cool. So you just, like, bought it. He's like, yeah. I was like, god damn it. So we installed it on our friend's computer and we started playing it. And I think we ended up playing this most of the time. I don't know if we ever actually even played D&D &D that night. But we ended up playing it. We kind of took turns. Best seven eight. No, you didn't buy it in the. There's no way you bought it in the bargain bin. Well, maybe you did. I doubt it. I don't think it'd been out that long though. I don't feel like the game had been out that long by the time we got to it. But uh, I remember he was running around in town in Shady Sands, and I was like, "Oh, like, can you kill these people? Like, can you just kill the?" The people in town? And he was just like, well, yeah, I think so. But why would I do that? I'm like, to take their stuff. And because you can. All the only reasons you need to just randomly kill a bunch of NPCs. And he was like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. So we kind of took turns playing, like making characters and just kind of farting around with it a bit. So when my turn came up, I, of course, like try to wipe out the town. Which, you know, especially not knowing how to play, not knowing how the stats worked, and all that stuff. I think I died a whole bunch trying to do it. But eventually I was able to get it. I think I ended up hiring Ian somehow and, and getting him to join me. And he helped me wipe the town out. You know, I was like, this game is awesome. And then I probably went and bought it like that weekend and played the ever-living shit out of it. But that's how I started with Fallout. In Fallout 2, I play. I got like on day of release. I talked about that a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, I feel like there was like a kid killed me at one point, and I feel like he had a grenade. Like you say, like he had a grenade for some reason. I didn't realize the glowing ghouls started from this game. Love to see that 95 to the eyes. I mean, they probably don't. Goddamn freaks. The only good ghoul is a dead ghoul. Except for Harold. But everybody else. I think I'm about to check another corpse. And I think that's too, we were probably messing around with stuff like I talked about before where you like prime the grenade or something and you, you plant, or not the grenade, the dynamite. I 
Let's mix it up. Let's go for the headshot. I hope I can keep your head intact. Speak for yourself, bitch. Damn it, Ian. Well, we haven't had any misses in a while. That's nice. These guys might irradiate you too when they hit you. I'm not sure. They didn't say they did, but they might. Hmm, nothing on this guy? Alright. Oh. There's a computer that actually works. Oh, it's a water processing chip. You easily remove the water chip from the computer. You hear the flow of water to the city stop. Not my problem. You see a water blah blah blah. It's malfunction due to the removal of critical piece of hardware. Huh? Oh well. There she blows. Looks surprisingly like the chip that you found in Vault. Or it looks surprisingly like the chip that your Vault needs. Yeah, funny how that works. Not my problem. The nasty ass ghouls. Get out and get earn your water like everybody else. So I guess, so I guess the vault that that mutant took us to obviously was different than this one. I thought you had to do that to get the water ship. There might be two different, I mean, I know that if you do the repair option, I think you can get the water ship and they also keep their water supply, which, you know, it's too much hassle. I ain't got time for that kind of shit. I don't really negotiate. I just kind of go in and get what I want. Tire roll. So I didn't even actually have to... Well, no, I did have to fight that guy. Because we had to get in here in the first place. But why are the mutants here, in the, the super mutants here in the first place? Oh yeah, these guys all go hostile to you now. For some strange reason. I don't know why they're angry. Well, they're not about to be angry for too much longer. But yeah, I was thinking this was where you get to the mutant vault. But obviously not. I was getting some shit mixed up. Good idea coming here by yourself, bitch. Hold these bullets. Damn it. The one really annoying thing is when you get stuck in combat like this, it makes it a big pain in the ass to move. Don't even want to give him the chance. None challenge us and live. Okay. Tell that whatever heathen god you freaks worship. Who the fuck is in combat? I think Ian keeps aggroing the damn ghouls over there. I need to get the fuck out of here. You're a super mutant? They've got like laser sniper rifles and they're like, Ah, Gary, we're, the budget's low this quarter. Here's some brass knuckles. He's like, wait, hold on. Let's talk about this. Uh, is there a zone out? Yes, over here. I just want to zone out so we can stop being in combat. Because I think Ian keeps aggroing shit. Yeah, see, I keep trying to leave combat. It's putting me back in. I kind of want to go back and taunt those ghouls. But we'll wait. Damn it. No, Ian, you dumb shit. All right, let's get out of here. And I'll I'll move out of the town so I can save. 
Yeah, I definitely got to give Ian a, a, another melee weapon because he's actually pretty good at that. All right, let's go back. Hey, Retro, how's it going? Exactly, their anger's misplaced. I'm trying. I'm watching out for them. I didn't want them to drown to death. Now the problem's solved because there's no water anywhere. How's it going, Retro? Uh, Mariposa military base. Oh, that's way somewhere else too. I think. Also, why did they kill everybody in the vault? They were looking for prime humans, right? Why would they do that? Let's let's walk in. Okay, I cannot believe Ian's still alive. It'd be a miracle if he makes it the whole way. Back home, the Vault 13. But yeah, I want to knock this out. So how many, how many days did we end up with extra? 134 days. We still had a lot of time left. I still don't know where that... A lot of that time went though. We didn't reload. We didn't reload to a save where we didn't send the the caravan, did we? Look at that amazing animation. A little too clean for my taste. Shut up, Ian. I'm back. Because, yeah, we had 222 days left. And then all of a sudden, we had, like, 140 days. We lost, like, 80 days. Seemingly, I don't know. God damn it, Ian. You can glean more information on this terminal for the more scientific... Effort. That's right, you're supposed to do, like... Uh, science on it. The terminals on this level perform atmosphere and temperature controls and backup maintenance for the medical lab. What's our karma, by the way? Four! Damn it! We're gonna have to fix that. Uh, fix my radiation. Would you like to attempt the healing? It will take a while. No. All right, let's go ahead and go straight to the Overseer. I just wanted to take the long way through the vault. I know I could have done that, but I kind of wanted to go through our vault that actually still functions and is not full of degenerate ghouls. Eighty day mintet bender, maybe. I don't know, man. That's that's fucking my that's doing my head in, man. I, I I want to have sent the the guys with the water because if it triggers an event, I want to see what it is. Again, I'm trying to show off kind of as much of the game as I can. But if we don't get it, we don't get it. It's not a big deal, but Don't fucking tell me what to do, you little bitch. I'm the savior of our world, you little shit. The security office. An officer is on duty at all times. For what you're not sure. This is the operation room. All command and control of operations are performed here. These people are the leaders of the vault. Have you found the chip? Yep. Okie dokie. One moment. The chip is initializing. Here, 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 here. There it goes. Self-test is green. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You've saved us. You've done it. You can pay me now. In caps. They use caps as currency. I know it's weird. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. Paperwork. My favorite part of adventuring. Library. Please, go there now. I mean, like if the game actually made you fill out some reports. It's like, God damn it. Energy weapons, obviously.
Look at my character's booty. She's got a nice booty. Better than Ian's. We're up to 90 on energy weapons, so we can probably realistically start using that now. Uh, ammo is kind of a problem. Put your weapon away now. <laughs> Eat a dick. Let's science the shit out of this thing. You spent six hours on the interwebs doing nothing of importance. Jesus. This game, I feel personally attacked. All right, let's go talk to Vault Seer because I want to I want to talk to him again and see what the next thing is. I kind of know. Hey, how you doing? You are a heroine. My little girl wants to be just like you when she grows up. I don't know if I like that. That's important, by the way. It's important you note that she said that. That she, her little girl wants to grow up to be like me, and she's not so sure about that. Man, lots of redheads in here. What's up? I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well... I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. What's that? <sighs> the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe that... I don't really understand it, but it looks like someone's generating new mutants, and at a startling rate. Again, I think if you have high enough intelligence and or science, I think some of this stuff you can change, it might change the dialogue on. Say again, without the confusion. Someone's making mutants. Can you d dumb it down one or two more levels for me? What do I need to do? As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Uh, I guess. What level are we? Level 8. Not too bad. We got level 8 pretty quick. Hey, how you doing? I was a little unsafe, unsure that you could do it, but I trust you now. You better damn right. Y'all be dead without my ass. I guess I could trust you. I had my doubts, but ugh. I guess you're okay. Bitch, your ass would be and trying to drink your own tears if it wasn't for me. Ass? This guy's got a booty on him, too. Look at him. Be careful while traveling outside the vault. Yeah, you think so, bitch? I, you don't think I know that? You don't think I know that? you never seen this before, Retro? You've, seen, uh, you've played the newer Fallouts, though, right? Yes, Vault 3... Vault 13 is your home vault. That's why if we take our armor off... It's, it's hard to see. Well, I guess it probably helps if I do it this way. You can see we're Vault 13. Even though on the female form, it kind of looks like 17. But. Vault well, 76 is your favorite? We actually played, me, Bro Control, Tally, and uh, Bad Beauty. We actually played Fallout 76 together. We liked it. We had fun. I mean, the game was broken as fuck. And Bethesda should be ashamed that they released it in the state it was in. But we enjoyed it for what it was, which was a broken, horrible mess. But uh, but no, it's definitely not a quest hub. I don't know if you actually get any other quests. We'll end up talking to the other people here in Vault 13. But um, I don't know if there's a bunch more quests in here, or if there might be none. The game doesn't have... I don't feel like the game has a ton of quests, just in general. I guess I more remember running around just murdering people, but. So you're about nine hours in. How was this? How was this game help? Oh, held up over the years. I think it's great still. Uh, there's definitely some things that are missing, like a decent quest log. Like if you look in here, the quests are very, very generic. Like it's no information. So, like, even if you have information on it, it might not be there. Like, if you look in the archives, some of, or not the auto archives, but the, um, like, the status, if you've gotten the data pads, some of that's in there. 
but uh, by the way, look at this logo for the Pit Boy. It's not the. Uh, it's not. They didn't use the, the Fallout Boy, or not Fallout Boy. That's a terrible band. They didn't use the Vault Boy for here for some reason. I think even I think it's starting in two. They started using Vault Boy, but it's not the not the Vault Boy for the Pit Boy, which is interesting. But yeah, at least I hope you guys enjoyed at least enjoy it for what it is even if it's not a game that you would play yourselves and we're going to finish this game not tonight obviously but we're definitely going to finish it uh and i still love it as much as i did back then uh, it's just i don't know just uh the story is pretty good like it's definitely not we're not talking like witcher story here but now that we're kind of getting back into it and i'm starting to remember some stuff they're talking about the master uh, i remember they were generating mutants that kind of thing uh, but we're, we're kind of digging more into it, finding out about the peoples and, and the stories and the backgrounds and all that stuff. Uh, and it's, and it, like, again, it is cool to see where all of that stuff that, and for the later fallouts, that, you know, where it started, right? Like, there's so many references now you can see in further fallouts to the older games, which there should be, right? Because it's supposed to be a consistent world. So it just makes sense. Yeah, the Diablo 1 style is very cool. Uh, I mean, I like the first person, too. It's the first person is definitely more immersive. Like when I play this, I don't really feel immersed in the game, uh, but it's which is fine. It's I don't really play it for that, but I don't really feel like I'm immersed in the game. When I'm playing a first person game, I feel more immersed. And that's why I prefer my survival games to be first person. That's why I don't like uh, Terraria. I'll never be able to get Terraria because it's that 2D flat thing. And I just can't get into it in that sense, especially for a survival game. So I don't get immersed, but I get other value out of it. Uh, I, you know, I appreciate the different builds that you can do. Like you can try to go a, a less violent. You do have to do some fights, but you can skip a lot of fights if you go, you know, social. If you're a very intelligent social character, you can get, I think you can get more companions. Uh, you can uh, bypass some fights, things like that. So it's, it's cool in that aspect. And I also just like that you can even just kill NPCs, like random guards. Like in most games, you can't do that. Or they do cheesy shit, like in Fable, where the guards just infinitely spawn. Like you can kill the guards, but they just spawn and spawn and spawn and spawn. Like they literally will never stop spawning. So they don't do cheesy crap like that. Uh, you can kill merchants and take all their stuff. Like that was one of the big things. This is the first game I ever played like that. Uh, may maybe, well, no, because I played, what was that game? Might and Magic? What was the whatever Might and Magic was the one where you were actually like control our, a party of four people, not the turn-based strategy one. I think Heroes of Might and Magic is the turn-based strategy. I think just Might and Magic was the the RPG. Uh, that one was kind of like that. You couldn't kill the merchants, but you could steal from merchants. But this one was like, oh my god, you can kill the merchants, take their stuff, just like you should be able to. Again, they try to balance that out with the karma system, and I'm I'm very annoyed that my karma is not negative. Uh, we're probably next session there's a pretty good chance we're going to go back to Sh shady sands and just murder everybody because i'm very annoyed that we have a positive karma very annoyed yeah the first person rpg like definitely not not that common there was stuff there were some things like gothic stuff like that but but no, I, I'm very much enjoying it. I very much hope that you guys are liking it too. Again, even if it's not something that you would play yourself, if it's something that, you know, if, especially if you like the newer Fallouts, you can kind of relate to, you can see see the similarities in the world, the vaults, the, you know, the icon, you know, the, the you know, the vault guy and all that, the vault boy, all that stuff. Yeah, so definitely uh, I'm very glad we're playing this this year. You own this game somehow? You might have got it in a bundle. That or you bought it when it was five bucks. Speaking of, if you would like to buy this game, if you don't have it already. Oh, wait, no, not Cronus. Nexus now. I got it mixed up. Uh, you can buy the game and get its theme key over on uh, Nexus. And you support the channel when you do that. If you want to. If you don't, that's fine. You can just watch me play it. But um, yeah, we're going to wrap up. Uh, let me wrap for YouTube. Twitch folks, hang out. Let me wrap up. We might do a raid, so I'd be very, uh, very uh, appreciative if you guys hung out. And we'll talk about schedule a little bit, but nothing's going to change on that anytime soon. So you two folks, very much appreciate you guys coming out. Again, I'm 
extra pleased when people come out for these types of games that I've just really, really wanted to play and really check out. And like I say, have a special fondness for. So thank you guys for coming out on YouTube. Come follow me on Twitch and I'll see y'all next time.